Well, now the details on the artificial intelligence Redner's introduced to predict the patterns of thieves. The company is using the technology specifically to catch people who ring up items at a lesser price at self-checkout. Action News reporter Katie Catra joins us live from North Wales to break down how all of this works. Katie. And the takeaway here is even if you don't see someone watching you while you're at self-checkout, AI is always paying attention. So that's that's another reason I don't like self-checkout. Redner's Markets is now using a tech tool to stop thieves at the self-checkout line. AI software is helping flag suspicious transactions. And if they see them happen multiple times, then it starts to steer them to stores and or predictive dates as to when you might see a similar transaction occur. Redner's Market so, spokesperson Eric White says the, the stores have seen an increase in customers entering an item into the self checkout computer that costs a lot less than the item they're putting in their cart. She was scanning bananas and taking meats and cheeses for a catering or a, a charcuterie business. He describes one woman who was running her own business using this method. She's accused of stealing around $5,000. If you're going to form your own small business, theft shouldn't be your main driver of getting your goods. The store was able to catch her pattern using AI, even predicting dates as to when the similar transaction would occur again. The system told our agents, hey, this person is most likely to be in the store at this time of day. And our loss prevention agent just took a shot, went up there, and sure enough, found the individual doing it. The technology is installed at all Redner's locations and it's catching more people now. These individuals should be able to pay for those groceries. And, you know, they, they took these steps to be so creative to try and get around it. Um, and we found it anyway. So the bottom line is people stealing will ultimately drive up the cost of groceries at the store. And Redner's is hoping this technology can help keep those prices low. Reporting live in North Wales, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Back to you guys.